we live in villages where the, the people make the indigenous food. Land is our, then movement is our. If leadership is our, then every decision making is our. Fullness of life, you see. You know that it's very difficult to uh, achieve the fullness of life. You see, some people get uh, an impression of uh, food security when they talk about life. Uh, some people also add uh, some aspect of spirituality. Fullness of life. I found indigenous Terra Madre closer to that. For myself, you know, as a young person and being from, you know, a community that has very strong food traditions, I think one of the things that I would like to see is our people um, being able to shift more towards a lifestyle of, of really being able to interact with the soil and interact with the natural world and not only interact but being able to observe and, and being close to the world, the natural world again. What we uh, envision and what we hope and what we are working towards is to, to bring all aspects of that lifestyle, like you're saying, of the connection back to the land. To, to make it part of people's lives and to instill a sense of pride. Because a lot of our people don't feel proud of being from an area where, where they're from, from a local area, from a rural area. So they want to move to the cities, they feel that it's better to be there. Even though in reality they might have a much more difficult life, probably living in a slum or you know, roughing it out. And, and the nice part is we are seeing quite a few young people coming back and coming back and getting into farming and seeing the joy of farming and seeing the joy of living in a community and that's the future we envision. The challenge is that we have the, most of our people are not educated, mm -hmm. so that's already not a challenge. Mm -hmm. And it's really very difficult for this community to accept the women to be the leaders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As your mind and your the way you think mm -hmm. become more Western, you're in that patriarchal mm -hmm. system and you forget that mm -hmm. actually that's not how we were we're supposed mm -hmm. to be, mm -hmm. as, as our traditional mm -hmm. teachings tell us. Because this is my experience with the patriarchal uh, ethnic groups where the male dominates. Uh -huh. We can do it very quietly. Mm -hmm. Do the capacity building, mm -hmm. let the woman make products, mm -hmm. able know? to sell them. Mm -hmm. They have money. And then all of a sudden, the, the what do you call it? the balance yeah. of the uh, bargaining position will, will shift it mm -hmm. automatically because um, like for example we have uh, farmers that they started because of you know selling products and everything they started to buy land mm -hmm. and it's under her name mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that is then education, education is basically yeah. is the solution mm -hmm. for the changes yeah. of the socio-culture mm -hmm. yeah, one side uh, everyone called this is a uh, a land is our father, a land is our motherland. But uh, that is a practical in, uh, in question. Uh, is there any person sell their father? Maybe no. Is there any person sell their mother? No. 
इफ वी आर नॉट सेल आवर मदर एंड फादर देन दिस अर्थ इज आवर मदर एंड दिस इज आवर हेरिटेज दिस इज आवर फादर व्हाई वी आर के वांट टू सेल देम इन द नेम ऑफ डेवलपमेंट We're outside this long India at this uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, park, and all the ceremonies, are all the traditional dances that are going on. On this side, you have nothing but biodiversity boost, and then on my uh, left side, it's nothing but food stalls. You have food stalls from every, almost every province in India, and indigenous foods. It's just a phenomenal experience being here because there's so much diversity in in one small pot, and everybody's here for one thing: good food. hay pan de Bolivia, de todos los continentes. Lo más importante es de que son de recursos locales, de los lugares. There are 148 tribes coming from 58 countries who are here together. Indigenous peoples are the ones who maintain uh, and uh, cultivate uh, the biodiversity around the world. are the future. The industrial food system will not survive and it will not feed our families 50 years from now. The only foods that will feed our families are the foods that come from the land that you don't extract from the land by destroying the land. And the only way our people will survive is if we can feed from our land with respect and reverence. And the people who do that are those, are those indigenous farmers, indigenous harvesters. Yeah.